Welcome to the first episode of Strength Coach Tutorials. In this episode, we're going to use Microsoft Excel, and we're going to go over Excel named ranges and how you can use these to create a training program. The idea behind this series is that I've been getting a lot of questions lately about different Microsoft Excel tricks and tips, so I'm going to use this to kind of show these tricks and tips and teach you guys how to use Microsoft Excel more effectively. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make a training program here where we can select the category of movement and then the exercise and the sets and reps. And to do this, we're going to use name ranges. And what we're going to do is I've got this set up for um, two boxes with some upper body exercises, some lower body exercises, and then I got the category at the top. So in order to make our categories box, we're going to highlight both of these exercise categories and go up to this top left hand corner and we're going to give it the name category. Good. And then what we want to do is take each of these boxes and give it the name of the category title that we've given it up top there. So upper body, lower body, and sets and reps. So we'll just call this set rep. Now using data validation, we're going to highlight these cells here, click on the top to data, and then data validation, we're going to create a new data validation rule, we're going to make it a list. So list, and then we want to be able to select our categories, so we're going to put equals category. So Now when we go to any of these boxes, we should be able to select either our upper, lower body categories, we'll go upper, and then lower. Now we want to use this to be able to select whether we want upper or lower body exercises. So then we highlight these cells here, data, data validation, and we have to use a function called indirect. So we want to type indirect, and then the box that we want to choose from, and then close the bracket, and then what you need to do is delete this dollar sign here as that's going to allow it to select either B4, B5, B6, B7, and so on. And then you close that and you'll notice that we should be able to select either our upper body exercises or our lower body exercises. And then we do the same process for the sets and reps that we did for the category. So highlight these boxes here. Data validation, list, whoops, list, equals set rep, okay. We should be able to select all of our sets and reps. So you can see how putting these tricks together, we could start to create a training program. And then you can save all of your exercises, sets and reps in your lists and be able to select any exercise, any set, any rep at any time. It becomes really powerful the more you set this up. So I hope that this has helped you out. I'm going to keep going with these tutorials, leave a comment in the section below and let me know what you'd like to learn more about. Thank you.